Well, hello there, ladies, and welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. So, hair out of the way, we're gonna jump in and we're going to um, use the Derma E Hydrating Serum. This is like my holy grail prep skin before my makeup, and then I'm gonna use the Derma E Purifying Moisturizer. So, I apply two just because my face is really, really dry, so I like to make sure it's good. Then, I'm moving into my brows. I like to start off with my brows. I am using the NYX Micro uh, Brow Pencil in the color Espresso, if I'm not mistaken. And I like to do my brows first. Um, for some reason, I've changed my routine lately, and I just jump into brows before I jump into anything else. Because I, if they get, if they get too dark, I will um, tone them down with a little bit of powder. So that's the reason why I like going in with my brows first. So I like to define very well my brows, and don't worry about it. The brows will definitely look um, dark, but as soon as you put the makeup on, it will definitely look blendable. I'm sorry, it will definitely look normal. <laughs> So then I like to clean my brows with the um, Kat Von D uh, Lucky, Lucky Concealer and this is in the color neutral, it's just like an eraser sort of thing for me. And then just with a concealer brush, I like to apply it all over my eyelid just to make sure that I prep my lids for my makeup. Then I'm going to set my brows with this new Pixie by Aspen, Os Aspen Osford, I think it is. It's a um, brow gel. Then I'm going in with this pure eye polish which I am obsessed. It's a base or a top coat and this is the color... I'll put it down below because I thought it was here on the little thing but it's not. <laughs> it's a golden one. I am obsessed with this thing. Oops. Lately is all I wear. So then I'm moving in with the Pixie It's Plus Judy Time her new palette, collaboration with Pixie. I'm grabbing that color right there and I think it's called Honey uh, Honey Bear. Yeah, it's called Honey Bear and I am applying it on the crease and I am blending it all over just to make sure that I'm blending that base that I use as the, the from Pure Eye Polish. And this is pretty much all I do to my eyes. So you don't have to worry about making sure your eyeshadow is blended or whatever because I just wear two things, that's it. That and then the little bit of that mama bear, I think it's called. <laughs> Honey bear. Okay, all right. And then a little bit of white just to pretty much uh, use it as my highlight, my brow bone highlight. And then I am going to wear lashes. Always happens. <laughs> I'm wearing lashes and these are the Demi Wispy by Ardell. And I am not wearing any eyeliner so I try to get them as close as possible to the lash line so it looks natural because it's what we want. We want like a natural color. I'm sorry, we want a natural look. And now I'm applying a little bit of mascara just to make sure that my eyelashes blend with my falsies. And I got a little bit, bit of mascara but I took care of it. Thank you so much. Then I'm going with the NYX HD um, concealer in green to kill all these beautiful redness that I have going on in my face, which I hate. So everywhere, and I go hammer on this green thing, like no lie. I've seen a huge difference and I definitely love using this thing. I literally go hammer, like you're supposed to blend it a little bit more but I leave it like that. Then I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And a color I'm using is the 205, which is I think it's a medium tan, medium beige or something. And I just like to place a little bit of dots all over my face. I think I get more of a product like that. And then I'm using this buffing brush by uh, ELF, which I am obsessed with lately for my foundation. Love the coverage, I love how amazing it blends everything and it leaves my skin looking flawless. Where, where did it go? Lady, why do I always do that? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I always do that. Oh, that's right, I'm a mom. I take care of kids while I record. So then I go onto my forehead and then to make this an extra full coverage look, I like to apply the NYX Total Coverage Foundation and as usual, I'm a savage, I go straight to the face. And then again, I just, I just blend everything, as you can see, blend. This gives me a full coverage look. Then I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. I know you don't say it like that, but you know. And of course, apply it everywhere. You would apply highlight. This is not a science. This is just pretty much things that we've learned here through all the years. And honestly, I'm running out of the concealer and I'm crying because it was so expensive. And I think about it like about a month ago. 
then I like to go in with the Kat Von D concealer in the color neutral just to brighten a little bit more my under eyes and everywhere else. And of course, with my best friend, the Beauty Blender. I am blending everything. That's my workout. And then I'm gonna set everything with the Lock It, Lock it, Lock it Translucent Powder by Kat Von D. I absolutely love this powder. It's translucent and I'm able to set my powder, very, I'm sorry, I'm able to set my foundation perfectly. And then I'm going with the Shade in Light Contour Palette and I am grabbing those two colors on the top. If I'm not mistaken, the colors are Lucid and Lyric. No, I lied. I so lied. Levitown and Lyric. And I am using this amazing brush by Pixie. And this is in collaboration with Mariam Beauty. And Mariam MYC, I think she is. Oh, why am I not prepared? And then I'm just applying um, that powder everywhere I apply the concealer just to set it and brighten it a little bit better. Then I'm going in with that middle color right there, which is uh, Shadow Play just to set my line where I would do the contour. But then I'm going with the Pixie by Mariam. This is amazing, ladies. I am loving this palette. I am using that top bronzer color and a little bit goes a long way. And I am using that as my bronzer and my contour. And I'm telling you, this brush is amazeballs. Like, seriously, no joke. Really soft and I love it. I'm loving all these products actually. Then I'm using the same palette and I don't know if you can really see it. I'm going to get closer you guys can see it. You see these three um, highlights? I went savage and I used all three. Gives you a subtle highlight. It's not all that. I'm not going to tell you it's like bam of a highlight. But it definitely um, gives you a nice glow to the skin. And there you have it. <laughs> For lips, I am using this gorgeous metal matte liquid lipstick by Jura Cosmetics in Cherry Bomb. I think it's the perfect red, as you can see. Not too bright, and then it has like a metal finish. Bomb. Then I'm using this Posh Matte Liquid Lipstick by Measurable D Differences. It's a new company that sent out to me lots of their liquid lipsticks, and I am loving it. So these I'm just using to deeper a little bit more the red. Yep, yeah, let's make sure we don't have any red lipsticks on our team. Come on. So there you have it, ladies. This is my simple golden glow with a pop of color using new makeup. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it. But I hope you liked the video. And as usual, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you, ladies, on my next video. Bye. Tell me your heart Is it only me? Is it only me? You've got on that car Cause I need to know, baby Yeah, I gotta know right now